I'm con contemplating. Do I want to go to the skating rink today? Or do I want to go to Walmart today? Or should I just stay in, get some homework done, do some kind of projects around here? Um, homework is going to be done regardless if, if I go to Walmart or the skating rink. Because all I have to do is finish my revised essay and do some more um, responses. And I'm going to get those responses out the way so that way I can just concentrate on my... Even if it takes me till tomorrow to get this essay done, I'm going to do that. And then tomorrow I'm just going to stay in all day and see if I can get that homework done. Um, I also want to try to see if I can hang this up. I'm not going to use the hooks that they gave me. Um... I got this from Shein, um, and it's this big old butterfly thing that I want to hang on that window. Um, I'm not going to use these because I don't know how to use those. I'm going to wait until I move into my own place, hopefully at the end of this year. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to use those until later. And I'm also, oh, it's stuck. Oh, hold on now. I'm also going to use, um, get another one of these so I can start hanging them as instead of curtains, which I'm probably going to end up getting curtains, but I want my apartment to be filled with just like nice vibe, energy, take your shoes off, find a spot on the floor type places. And instead of like, I'm going to get a couch and I also want to get a coffee table in the middle that's round and I want it to be kind of big. And I want to put little cushions around so that way people can sit around the coffee table on the floor. And I'm going to get fake plants and all of that. Because um, I don't know, really know how to take care of real ones. I don't know how consistent I would be in taking care of a real plant. And I do want to get a cat. I want to get two baby cats, by the way. But anyway, so this is right here. I'm going to hang this up with just some thumbtacks. And then when I move, I'm going to figure out these deals because I don't want to you know I feel, I figure two little bitty holes you know from thumbtacks not gonna be that bad but it's gonna be pretty wide and I'm gonna try to see if I can get it I'm gonna have to stand on top of here or stand on the bed and then put it down some kind of way but see since the big headboard is gonna be covering up the window see the headboards cover up the window um you won't be able to see the full Monty of this thing because it's going to be hidden but that's okay i will eventually end up moving the room around again before i move sometime but i kind of like how the bed is now i kind of like how i got everything now um yeah so i'm gonna try to see if i can hang this up today probably when i get back and yeah give this a whole new vibe Hopefully he don't mind if I hang this up with thumbtacks. It looked like holes are already put up there. It looked like a curtain rod was up here, but they took it down and they painted over it. That's what it looks like. So two little bitty thumbtack holes, that's not going to do nothing. I just need that blackout look in here. And I don't know. Let me see what I can do. With it. I think I may go to Walmart today. So you guys can see what I mean. So I'm standing on a bed right now, as y'all can see. <laughs> and it's not going to really give it too much of a blackout look because it is kind of see-through. And I just want to see how it's going to look if I was to... Ooh, I would have to stand on this dresser to get up there. I didn't realize I was that short. I just want to see how it's going to look. I can tell the curtain is definitely going to give it a blackout look once I put the shed down. It's going to be real nice. But I'm definitely going to buy some more of these for my new apartment when I move. So, yeah. I'm going to work on that. And it's going to happen. So I'm going to buy at least two more of those. The still big size. So that way I can put one in the living room. Until I find something 
that I feel should go with it. Um, I'm also going to hang some Christmas lights everywhere. And I really want to do, like, get those glow-in-the-dark stars and just start putting them in different places because I feel like it, you know? I mean, these are things that I want to do with my new apartment that I get. Um, I want to make sure that everything that I've always wanted my room to look like as a kid, you know, I can make my apartment look that way because I didn't, I shared a room with my sisters. And of course, at the time, I wasn't even thinking about decorating and how I wanted the curtains to look. I'm thinking, no, I'm just, I just want to be a kid, you know. That's mainly the thing that I was concentrated on. But now I'm more like, okay, when I get my new apartment, I want to make sure that I decorate it in a way where it's going to suit me, it's going to say a lot about me. And it's going to have more of my personality in the bathrooms, in the living room, in the kitchen area, and all of that. So I want to make sure that, you know, and instead of doing lights on, sometimes I may have like little lamps. Or I may have little like candles everywhere. Not trying to do like a seance or a summing sing of certain energies and entities, but more like a relaxed feel spa. All you hear is fish tank noise. That and sounds and because sometimes sounds for me is more enjoyable than hearing talking sometimes you know and if you sit still for a while and just unwind you hear God's voice other than somebody else's I, I want to train myself to turn my own thoughts off when I'm taking these um, certain meditation, inner, whatever you want to call it, I have to do that. But I just feel that's important. And just relax. And I'm going to have two cats. And I want those cats to be in the same vibe, relaxing energy that I'm in. And I'm not going to just set that over over the over like in one room it's going to be all throughout the house i'm gonna tell everybody make sure you please take your shoes off before you come in to this door if you don't feel comfortable with being barefooted i'll have extra socks for them that they can put on but it's gonna be i don't want to wait till my apartment before I set those vibes. Those vibes need to be set now. It has to go with me everywhere to work. When I'm doing schoolwork, when I'm walking to the store, the mailbox, when I just go outside, it has to be in me. So I definitely want to make sure I stay prayed up. I definitely want to make sure that I um talk to God. And I want to make sure that I get my ammunition from God and, you know, make sure that he has the last say so in whatever decision I do. I do want to make sure that I do more studying the word. Like I said, everything has to be done now. I don't want to wait until I get my apartment so that way everything can just work through. Because whatever I do now, that will like make a difference on what's going to happen for the next day. And throughout the day. Like however your morning is going to go. That's how your day is going to go. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big. Woo. Rooter for that. You know you got to set the tone. Of what kind of day you're supposed to have. Match your energy. You know let's just say I woke up in a bad mood. If I don't pray that off. If I don't open up the window and let that funk flow. That energy out. It's going to be with me all day. And I don't want that. And whatever I'm feeling. Everybody else may feel. I don't want to be snappy at nobody else. So I got to set that tone with me. Make sure I get up, read my word, pray to God, talk to God, close my eyes and just like try to hear his voice and just be like, get in touch with myself. Get in touch with knowing who I am. You know, if I don't know who I am spiritually, I'm not going to know what I want, where to go, none of that. And I need everything to kind of come together. And I just want to say, side note, these personal nails is really, since I put them, I glued them on, then I popped them back off to rearrange the furniture, then I glued them back on, and it has never lift or came off. 
I just got to blue on this one. But that's it. So I'm going to stick with these for the rest of the week. And then eventually I'm going to take them off. But part of me want to save them. And just repolish them. Yeah. My nails. So press ones. So anyway. Um, when I get back I'm going to work on hanging this up. So I can be, woo, yeah. So I'm, I can't wait to do this, start getting on these apartments with you guys. Um, I'm supposed to be going with my sister, I think either Tuesday or Wednesday to go down to one of the apartments so I can start, you know, putting on an application and I can start figuring out what I need to get to, um, what, what kind of steps I need to take to start getting these apartments. I have just a little bit of save, though, a little bit saved. But I need a whole lot more save because this is going to be an early Christmas present or a late Christmas gift to myself. My goal is by 41, have my own place. So that means I got to start working on my credit, making sure that I improve that because it went down by 35 points, but it's still good. But I still need to get it up there because I'm trying to get out of the 600s into the 700s, you know. I want to show that I am responsible for paying for something. So, um... And I heard, I'm not sure that's a worldwide thing, but I heard that only once, I'm going to Google it and check it out, that they were going to stop asking people, like expecting people to have three times the rent. Nobody knows where to go because everything is so expensive and you have to bunk up with people in order to make it, in order to like, you know, have a household or whatever. And you have to, um, there's so many people that are doing what I'm doing right now and renting a room for in someone else's home. Now, I like it here. And I thank God for giving this man grace and not allowing me to, I mean, and allowing me to stay here until I'm ready to leave. It's not a time limit. He didn't give me, okay, six months. Because six months would have been a long time ago. And I don't want to move back in with a family member. I want to make sure that I have a place in case my family, let's just say that my sister and my brother-in-law said, hey, we just painted our house, but it's too strong for us to stay in there. Can we come with you? Yes, so you don't have to spend no money in a hotel. Come on, I'll get bing bags and, you know, we'll get some peanut butter and, you know, whatever. No, I'm just kidding, no. Um, it's a line from Uncle Buck. But anyway, um, I want to do that. You know, I told God I want to be in a position to help people because um, I feel like it's time. It's been time. I just have to say it and I have to be ready for it. Like, don't ask God that you're ready to do something if you're not ready to, like, because sometimes that can mean giving up your desires to help people because, you know, I think it's important for everybody to help people. Whatever that may look like, whatever God is calling you to do. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is get ready to go because I don't want the day to be like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. And then by the time I going to come back, I'm too tired to want to hang that curtain thing up. And there's no such thing. But I know I'm not going to be going to the skating rink today. I may make that a trip that I may do tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Look at my hair. Look at I'm looking at my new growth already. Ugh. And by the way, I do have a couple of gray strands. I don't know if you guys can see it. A couple of gray strands. I'm not dyeing my hair at all. I'm already bald-headed enough. I don't need to add. I don't need to add fuel to that fire. I don't believe in adding <clears throat> insult to injury. Mm -mm. It's not going to happen, Captain, so... But, yeah, so you guys, like I said, I want to set that tone. So I can't wait to move into my own apartment, even if I'm on the floor for a couple of months before I get some stuff, furniture, I don't care. Bring it on. But I just want to be in my own apartment before the year is out or in the beginning of the year. In Jesus' name.
And I pray that anybody out there who's looking for a good school for your kids, good place, a nice roomy apartment or a house, I pray that you get it as well. We got let's be in agreement with each other. Come on. You have to want it. If you don't want it for you, want it for your kids or something. Cause you know, these prices in California and wherever else that you guys may be from, it's ridiculous. And sometimes you just want your own. You don't always want to have to bunk up with people and you have to live with this family member. But right now, I told myself when I, when I first moved here, this is my last uncomfortable stop being in somebody else's home, living with somebody else. It's time for me to start real, really being serious about getting my own. Why not? You know, I want I want that feeling of, are we finna go over to Tiffany's place? Yeah, come on. I want to start getting in the kitchen more, making healthier meals more. Diabetes run on both sides of my family, and I got to do something with my health because it's... I don't want it to, I don't want to slowly deteriorate because whatever goes on, on the inside is going to show on the outside. So I want to make sure that I am taking those necessary steps to be a woman of action and not just a woman of my word. I think it's really important for us to do that. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to make a difference? It's you. It's your health. It's your family. It's your space. It's your area. Why not? So, I'm going to do that. And before I go, I just want to say that I appreciate each and every one of my Royal Shenanigans that have been subscribed since day one. I appreciate all y'all who have just subscribed. Thank y'all so much. Y'all all my Royal Shenanigans. That's what I'm going to call y'all. Y'all some Royal Shenanigans. And I'm Roche Boy, y'all. And I'm thank you for tuning in to my channel, okay? And I forgot to do my little intro, so for those new ones and for some of y'all, you know, day one subscribers and all that, let me do my intro for y'all. What's up, everybody? It is Roche Ball, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, you guys. And as everybody know, I stay rolling my eyes. See you in the next video.